Okay, so our Metcon for this Thursday, May 14th, is called Even Steven. It's an ascending ladder of dumbbell hang power snatches and box jump overs. In between each set, we're going to do some sit-ups. All right, so our low equipment option or our uh, our first option for today, guys, is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20 reps of alternating arm dumbbell hang power snatch. So that will come from the hang position up overhead. All right. The prescribed weight is a 50 pound dumbbell for the guys and a 35 pound dumbbell for the ladies. And box jump overs. And our prescribed height for that is a 24 inch box for the guys and a 20 inch box for the ladies. And then you're going to do 20 at mat sit ups after each set. Okay? So the flow of this workout, guys, is two alternating arm dumbbell and power snatch, so one on each arm two box jump overs, and then 20 at mat sit-ups. Then you would do four and four, 20 at mat sit-ups, six and six, 20 at mat sit-ups, all the way up until you complete 20 alternating arm dumbbell power snatch, hang power snatch, and 20 box jump overs, and 20 sit-ups. So the workout starts with the dumbbell hang power snatch and box jump overs, and then it ends at the end, you would end your last set with 20 uh, sit-ups, all right? Okay, guys, so our no equipment option, same rep scheme, same um, flow for the workout, all right? Except now we're gonna do backpack ground to overhead, so you're gonna use that backpack, you're gonna fill that up, we're gonna go ground to overhead with that, and we're gonna do lateral tuck jumps, okay? So we're gonna jump laterally, and as we jump, we're gonna pull the knees up above the hips as we jump side to side, all right? So same deal, 20 ab mat sit-ups after each set. So same flow, you can do 2, 2, 20, 4, 4, 20, 6, 6, 20, all the way up until you did 20, 20, and 20. Okay, guys? All right. So pretty simple movements today. Uh, I'm going to hit some quick points performance, guys, and then get after it. All right? All right, guys, so I'll back you up quick. All right, guys, so I've got a dumbbell, I've got a backpack, I've got a box, um, and we'll show you all of that. So starting off with our dumbbell hang power snatch, guys. That dumbbell will start on the floor for that first, for the first rep, right? From the, that three, two, one, go, it'll be on the floor. We'll deadlift it up, okay? We'll deadlift it up to that hang position, okay? Every round, we're gonna deadlift it up first. And then we're gonna go from here. So we're gonna load the hips, we're gonna push those hips back, good flat back position, we're going to extend the hips, we're going to shrug, we're going to pull, elbow high and outside, roll over and punch, and we're going to finish bicep covering the ear, that dumbbell over the midline of the body, right? So from here, whoo, ha, up, done, back down, all right, try not to catch your pants. <laughs> so from the side, guys, up. All right, that's our dumbbell hang power snatch. Alternating arm. Now with the backpack, it would be the same setup. All right, we're gonna have that here, good flat back position, eyes up, chest up. From here, we're gonna pull off the floor, up, overhead, finishing. All right, with that implement, up overhead, elbows locked out. side. All right, those are our ground overhead. Now as far as the box jump over or box step over, right, um, if you want to scale this, modify this, we would step up and over, right, so stepping up, making sure that the knees tracking over the toes and behind the toes, all right, stepping all the way up, over and down, and then alternating feet. Okay, for the box jump over, 
You can jump forward and then land on the other side. You can jump laterally, land on the other side, or you can jump and kind of get a pivot turn, right? So we want to make sure we're jumping off both feet, knees tracking over the toes, behind the toes, up and back down. All right, that would be our forward jump. Um, you can get a jump with a twist and down. You could jump laterally, up and over. Kind of what I prefer, guys, is to jump and pivot on the top of the box. And we did these last week as well. So jump, pivot, step down. And I try to pivot and step down with the opposite legs every time I go. Okay? Now, for our lateral tuck jump, all right, move that box out of the way. The lateral tuck jump, guys, you're going to just load the same as you would for a box jump. So you're going to load knees, tracking over the toes, behind the toes. We're going to jump laterally, and as we jump, we're going to pull those knees up towards the hips, right? So up, side to side. All right, pull the knees up, not the heels to the butt. Okay, guys? All right, so those are our movements for today. Um, last but not least is those sit-ups. All right, I don't have an ab mat with me, but you could use a towel if you have an ab mat. That ab mat's gonna go to the base of your butt. All right, we're gonna get the bottoms of our feet together. Okay, gonna lay back, touch that floor over your head, sit up and touch those toes. All right, get after this one, guys. Stay steady through those reps. Try not to go out too hot, knowing that, you know, the bulk of the work is on the downhill side of this workout, guys. All right, so go out at a steady pace and try to keep that steady pace. Go unbroken as long as you can and just keep grinding through this one, guys. Like I say every day, it's gonna be a lot of fun. They always are. So get after it, even Steven. Guys, get after this one. Have fun with it. Happy Thursday. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.